Greetings and welcome, everyone, to the JK Podcast. I'm Ken O'Connor. And I'm Josh Brandon. And this is the only podcast that swore they would never go live. JK. <laughs> Actually, well... Yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I feel like we did talk about it a while ago, but... Going live? We talked about it, but yeah. now it's like a thing of the past. Yeah, now we've... Uh... Now we finally burst our live, Jerry. Yeah, I was like, how is he going to say this with out being like entirely inappropriate okay no anyway. no I'll, I'll lean to the inappropriateness oh all right well anyway anyway we are recording on january 9 2017 and this is episode 36 of the jk podcast our first live episode streaming live right now on twitch and youtube yeah man i gotta actually i gotta tune into you YouTube. typed in the chat already josh i yeah. swear to god we're not no, doing this i'm trying to you know i gotta interact with the people i'm trying to you know, bring up our street cred. Yes, um, in our in our live studio audience right now, we have the one and only Cybernetic, Cybernetic Slayer and the Classic Killer. Do we have anyone on YouTube? And Josh typed in the YouTube chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Never go head first into the dirtiness, just in towards it. You know what? I live my life like that. That's a good point. Um, okay, so again, this is going to be a very, this is kind of like a, a test episode to see how live podcasting would go, because usually you and me record either in the very early morning or late at night, like we are pretty much now. Like we said, it's January yeah. 9th, but it's about to be the 10th in like like less than 20 minutes. Oh my god, just do the math, 13. Kind of. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I knew that if I said, because the time, I was waiting for the time to go up to like the zero to say it. Oh, it's it like, just wasn't it just wasn't going exactly it wasn't long enough so you know what? i'll just give some random number uh all right yeah so, so yeah this is our first episode 2017 we have not <laughs> done an episode since our pre-pokemon episode back in november i know so, i i am the one to blame for that i mean is blame really the word you needed no. necessary surgery <laughs> <laughs> i i had i had finals that was actually the most nightmarish two weeks I've ever had for mm -hmm. finals, like ever. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you about that actually? About the night I you I kept texting you during your finals week asking how you were doing. You're yeah. like two down, one to go. Yeah. Oh, lost oh, my limb. There were actual tragedies. Like, uh, okay, to go ahead. This is the time to talk about it. First, I have four finals, and the fourth one was take home. First one was on a Monday, like December like fifth or something, and. I was at school the night before that Sunday. Make sure I'm finishing studying. Had to print out stuff for it because it's like a open book. You could bring whatever notes you have. So I was trying to finish up typing notes and things. And I didn't end up leaving the school until after 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my God. For a final that next morning. And, uh, you know, it's 930 in the morning, that final at the school. It takes me like an hour to get back to my place. I got in bed and fell asleep at 5 o'clock. I set alarms, like four different alarms from 7 to 7.30 on my phone. Oh, God. And apparently I just passed out without setting my ringer volume too high. And you know how it's like I fall asleep and, oh, I want to wake up in like two hours from when you fall asleep. So you're like in deep sleep at that point or trying to. Mm -hmm. So I apparently didn't hear any of those alarms. And I woke up by myself and I thought, wow, that's kind of weird. And it was kind of light out. I'm like, huh, that's interesting. I look at my phone. My phone says 9.28. <gasps> And the final is 9.30, and I'm in Flushing at 9.28. Oh, my God. I've never had that before. Like, literally, my heart, like, stopped. That's, hap that's happened to me a couple times, like, with, like, work-related stuff. Th then I add, like, everything went cold. And then <laughs> and then everything started heating up. My heart, heart was, like, pounding. Like, it was, like, insane. And I was, like, so frustrated, like, actually just yelling out loud to myself, like, trying to get to wherever. Mm hmm and, you know, I still got to take multiple subways and things. It's not like, I, oh, I could just run there. Like, it still takes an hour. Yeah. So I showed up at my exam just before 1030. And they gave me the exam, whatever. I just sat down. Thank God. It's like, it's a three-hour final. But, like, I literally had two hours as compared to everyone else. Okay. And needless to say, I, I got some of those grades back. So I didn't do that well. But I at least didn't fail. But, like... <laughs> at least they let you take it. Like, the, wor yeah, the worst know. case scenario in my mind is you get there. And it's like, oh, you didn't come here at 930. Better luck next year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, I would actually throw a fit. Like, I would have been doing something. But then, so that was already a nightmare. 
Next final I had was later that week. I get there. There was one class I missed for this one class. And I was like, it didn't seem like we missed much from the class before that and the class after that. Uh-huh. And I was so busy with everything else at the time. I was like, whatever. It doesn't matter. Even though I knew a person in the class, I was like, eh, it doesn't matter. End up taking the final. 40 points out of 100 points on that final was on that one class I missed. I was Jesus like, you've got to be kidding me. I and <sighs> So that was terrible. And then the next final, the following week, the Monday, um, I leave early. I went to sleep at like 12. It was a 930 final again. I left at like 745. Doing fine. Was going to get there around 845 for a 930 final. It's like 820 on the subway going from between Queens to Manhattan. So it's like under the water for a minute. Mm-hmm. And it just stops. And I'm like, okay, fine. You know, it stops with rush hour and traffic. Oh, and whatever. no. And um, we end up sitting around. I mean, I've sat around sometimes where it's like 10, 15 minutes. It's like, oh, my God, come on. Mm-hmm. And I'm like standing. It's like a really packed thing. And, um, you know, that. <laughs> Then they announce over the thing. I've heard them always say, you know, like, we're sorry for holding up, whatever. This time they're like, and please take note of the subway car number and you can tell your school or your boss or whatever of why you're late. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, don't. No, no, no. Like, I literally was in that subway for 45 minutes. It stuck in that one spot. Oh, my God. And. It, I was like, all right, I just got to get off. So the first stop it gets off is like Lexington and something like all the way on the east side. My school is all the way on the west side. I had to then like speed walk all across, like through whatever. You realize describing like the streets and whatnot, no one who's from New York who knows like. I mean, that that's fine. But literally like, the opposite side of Manhattan. And Again, no one knows what that means. I had to walk it. And. <laughs> It, it was a lot. It's like, honestly, like I know. Mi- a oh, couple believe, miles or something. Me, I know it's a lot. I walk so, around the city. So I got into my test. After going to be like 45 minutes early, I got into my test room at 925 for a 930 final. I'm like, oh my god. So At least you made it. It was like a million things were just going wrong. The past three finals, there were so, so many, like, I don't even know, tragedies. It was just terrible. And then uh, I was like, all right, one more. Got the take-home final. Watch. Now my power is going to go out. I'm going to lose internet or something. But thank God it didn't happen. But oh man, Kenneth, it was it was actually scarring, especially that first one waking up with two minutes before the exam starts. Believe me, I've had um, uh, I've had yeah. like work work experiences like that where like either like we lost power in the middle of the night or something like that. So lost power, so phone was in charge and alarm clock gets reset, and mm-hmm. then I wake up and like wow, it's really sunny out. The clock is like <laughs> like two a.m. That can't be right. Phone is dead. Oh shit! Like running around my house trying to find like the cable box that has the yep. accurate time, like nine thirty five. Shit! <laughs> I'm, I'm an hour. I'm an hour and five minutes late for work, and it takes about forty minutes to get there. Fudge. Yeah. So it was terrible. And then right after that, I had my shoulder surgery, and that's that's been a nightmare in a nutshell. But uh, yeah, so I've been really busy since the last time we've recorded. It's been Kind of yeah. terrible, actually. But now, I, now I'm, I'm working I've it back. So we've mentioned mm-hmm. your surgery a bit on the show before. I've mentioned it on the streams too. Um, yeah. How are you feeling? Are you recovering well? How's it going? Last time I saw you, you were in pretty rough shape. That was like right after the surgery. So how yeah, you, you saw you saw me like it was like three days after the surgery. Let me just say though, you undersold the surgery so much. <laughs> I know. Like you said, oh yeah, a couple of incisions. I'm doing all right. I'm in a little sling, yada yada. I go over to see you to visit you. You are immobile, stuck in a chair with a heating pad and cooling pad strapped to your body as if it was like a, like a life tank. You couldn't move. I had to open. I had to open your Christmas present for you in front of you. Like here you go, buddy. Let me unwrap that. There you go. Yeah, I was I mean, almost ready to start cutting your pizza for you. You could have no, but like I suggested uh, it. I know, but like, <laughs> it was just one of those things where, you know, you hear about it. It's like, okay, I mean, I can get over that. That's fine. Until it really happens to you, you're like, oh my God. So it was, uh, it was a lot. It was definitely a lot initially. Um, now I'm in a bit of a better place. You'll be probably pleasantly surprised tomorrow when we go see our One Piece movie. If I see you tomorrow, you're worse. I'm going to be. No, no, no. <laughs> Watch, I'll purposely like break another arm or something <laughs> just to prove a point. You're gonna have two no. black eyes when I pick you up. Like, yeah, what even happened? I don't know. I don't but, even know. But uh, yeah, you know, I've been going to physical therapy now for a couple weeks, and uh, 
you know, it's doing better. I don't even have to really wear a sling anymore unless I'm going to a really crowded kind of place. That's good. Um, I think I'll, I should be fine tomorrow without it. Just, cool. you know, got to watch the shoulder. Maybe you stand on that side of me or something so other people don't, like, bump into me or something. Like, things like that. Yeah, but, gotcha. like, But, um, you know, I'm doing a lot better. Um, don't have a full range of motion, obviously. Can't really put, like, shirts on over my head because I can't lift up my arm that high. But, like, you know, it, it's going. So good, good. I'm pretty happy with the progress. Of course, I wish it was quicker, but it's it's going. It's for the best. Hey, so. It sounds as good as you could hope at this point. Yeah, you know, I got another few months to go worth of physical therapy a couple times a week. And, you know, by about April, May or so, I should be almost back to normal. Good. So, so yeah. And by then, the Nintendo Switch will be out. Hey, look at that. So, so segue into our main talking points. Me and Josh yeah. were discussing. We have so much crap to talk about. Yeah. Um, because that's what happens when you don't do a podcast since November. Correct. And it's funny. I feel like every time you and me like start like texting back and forth a lot, I'm like, yep. oh, we're wasting JK material. Mm. But at the same time, like we don't like we talk to each other outside of the podcast. But yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> what, what we're gonna be doing for the next couple of JK episodes is we're gonna have like big themed episodes. Usually we do this when it's like, oh, we watched an entire sh- series of a show. Let's talk about it and whatnot. But yeah. this we're gonna break things down. And because Nintendo's big Nintendo Direct is this week all about the Switch, we're going to be talking all about the Switch because you and me never got to really talk about it much after it was released. Mm, yeah, we, no. had, we had the Pokemon episode, which was all Pokemon. We mentioned it here and there, but we just kind of glossed over the Switch altogether. Yeah, so, you know, like, um, it's funny. We're really good at pre-shows. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We did the pre-Pokemon. We probably did pre-something or other, and it's like... We're, we never get around to those things. We're good when life doesn't get in the way. Like the, we had a while we were like doing it consistently, month after month, like week after week for like a couple months. Yeah, I don't worry. It'll get better. <laughs> it gets better, folks. Yeah, I don't know. It's dangerous. So, if I start promising things, it just yeah. goes downhill from there. <laughs> so right, so. right now we're gonna hold off on what we've been playing. We're gonna hold off on movies and TV. We're gonna hold off on all that stuff and just try to do all the, uh, all the Nintendo Switch stuff for now. Mm. And of course, people in the chat, feel free to comment on, throw in any ideas you guys want us to talk about, because we're going to be discussing all things Switch tonight. Josh, yeah. stop typing in the chat. No, we good. I swear we good. to God. No, we good. This Don't sucks. worry. I told you this was going to happen. Relax. I like how you put your like mouse on the document. So like, look, I'm over here now. It's fine. No, job. <laughs> it's funny because I like the way my the screen's up. I have the Twitch chat open, the YouTube chat open, and the document. So I see you like hopping in between the windows. <laughs> I'm so predictable. <laughs> no. Classic killer wants to talk about Trump and Hillary. That's not the switch. Well. Well, we wish we could. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the results were a switch, but um, no. That's next episode. Yeah. Um, but we should mention, uh, for our next couple episodes, we will be talking about me and Josh are going to see, uh, One Piece Film Gold tomorrow. It is mm. the Funimation, Funimation? Yeah, the Funimation, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. uh English well, dub. Does Funim- well, it's really Toei or whatever. I'm no, no but, but Fun- Funimation handles the English translation. Oh, dub. oh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. We are seeing right. One Piece Film Gold tomorrow. Um, the entire new Steven Universe Steven Bomb which was supposed to be out the end of this month, got leaked online the beginning of this month. Uh, I've watched all five episodes, uh, blown away by all five. Josh, I don't think you've watched them yet, right? Well, you know, I realized, you know that one episode we watched together at your place like yeah. a month ago or something? Yeah. I apparently missed like two episodes before that and had no idea, so I actually watched those oh, today. Oh, really? So I watched those today. So like, I I need to still catch up on the newest one. It was weird. So. All right, well, we have more to talk about then. There you go. But yeah, we'll be talking about that in our next episode as well. Um, I know, Josh, you've watched uh, ReZero, and you want to talk all about honestly, that Honestly, Honestly, it has all of a sudden jumped to like within my top three anime of all time. Yeah. It is phenomenal. Like, the writing. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, okay. it, it's uh, hold, hold, it's hold so it. well done. Well, well, Anyone, it, before we even get a chance to talk about it, like, if you have time now to that's, watch that's it, why someone... I- Watch ReZero, 25 episodes. Might be a second season eventually. So good. The feels, the story, the writing, 
Everything. Speaking of second season, Attack on Titan got a second season finally announced after when? When it when is coming? Dare say 2018. Uh, (laughs) we'll we'll talk about it in the next episode. But we're so done with that show. And if you're and if you're reading the the Attack on Titan manga, their latest chapter, holy shit! Don't tell me I only watch, not read. I know. Even though I have to read the subtitle, but. And uh, yeah, we will be talking about uh, me and Josh are going to hold off on the Pokemon talk. Well, there'll be a little bit of Pokemon talk in tonight's Switch uh, talk because yeah, who of, even uh, plays that anyway. <laughs> I've been playing it a lot. Like I, I I've been playing the last week since Isaac came out, but like until then, I've been like consistently. Hey man, I don't blame you. It's a good game. Yeah. All right. But yes. So let's get into our main discussion for the night: the Nintendo Switch. We find out, like, it, it's weird, too. We're talking about it now when all the details come out on Friday. So it's like, oh, I wonder if it has this, wonder if it has that. But well, there's... you know, it's a little recap for everyone, especially if they're not super Game Explain-centric and whatever. Okay, I think we should start off with our initial reactions. So, sure. so are we talking I'll, I'll, from, I'll go, the, I'll go from f- the initial trailer? I'll go first. From that initial trailer, I cried tears of joy. You cry too much, man. I, oh, I cry way too much. <laughs> <laughs> there was a discussion today at lunch to my coworkers, how uh, they were talking about Kevin Smith and his daughter saw La La Land. They started crying profusely, and it's like, they cried everything, though. I'm like, yeah, so I'm guaranteed to cry, too. It's like, can you do cry a lot, don't you? It's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, no, that trailer, they, sh- that they showcased the Switch and they gave it the name. It's absolutely perfect, in my opinion. Um. It showcases what I want it to be. Again, like I don't know how it's gonna like actually be used in the real world and whatnot, but just the way people are picking it up, putting it down, the kickstand, the controllers, how they come off, to two player, to everything being on the screen, to like just everything they showed is exactly what I wanted it to be. Again, we heard rumors for months and months about the NX being a portable hybrid, what does that mean? Yada yada. And it's pretty close to what I think we both thought. At the end of the day, the way the controllers come off that that I had no idea that was going to work. They there was a patent um, over the summer where they mentioned detachable controllers. Yes, but I pictured like I don't know. I don't know what I pictured. I, I did not picture that. And the fact that they click off, click on so easily, and that you can turn them both ways to use them either way you want. The yeah. fact that there's an actual controller you can use too. And like a controller dock. looks nice. Yeah. Well, there's the actual controller, and there's like that weird plastic dock that both the little controllers go on to. Well, oh, oh, you're right, you're right. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So like again, just very, very intuitive, I think. And the name's perfect. I, I love the name, and the fact that they kept having that, that little jazzy like number in the background, yep. and every time that they click together and doing switch, I was like, oh, perfect, love it. More. Is it my turn. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so anxious to chime in here. I'm do like, it. Oh, I gotta do it. wait. Get in there. Stop me. So that initial trailer, man. Okay, I didn't cry. I admit. I also think it was really like. Okay, I didn't. Cr- okay, I didn't cry. I was. I was just really happy for Nintendo. Like it okay. looked like they got it right. I mean, okay, I was definitely like, um, really loving watching the video. I thought it was a great video. Well done. Um, seemed pretty cool, honestly. Looking at the new console. It's just always the problem is, like, how much use would I get out of it? That's always the thing that I think lately. You know, it's just, like, it's really cool to see, but then it's, like, well, would I really carry it around like that? First of all, I don't even have a dog. Why am I going to be walking dog and playing Zelda with, like, looked like reduced frame rates? Like, I mean, it's, like, I don't know. Stop getting but, so salty right off the back. But, um... I know we're on Twitch, but keep the salt to a minimum. Ah, uh, PJ Salt, everyone, in Twitch chat, please. But, uh, oh, God. you know... <laughs> I don't know if anyone's gonna do it, so I'll start the train. Oh, they're but going, um, they're going to trust me. But uh, there we go. so oh, well, that was good. me. But <laughs> but so like I thought it was really cool though. Like I was honestly, it was nice to see all the different things, and they didn't really hide something. I liked how they actually showed you stuff and not like, oh, it's the Wii U, and people are like, huh. So I was happy about that. They also did hire a new marketing team. I remember. So hopefully that'll go well. Thank you everyone for the salts, by the way. But um, stop encouraging him. Hey, man, it's great. So but it, it was just like it was really good. Like it made you feel good. Good music, good everything. And um, it was just like it's 
you know, the one problem, though, what bothers me about those little pull-off controllers, though, is that there's, like, no buttons on that thing. So I don't know how you play any games, but... So I was kind of confused with that. Cartridges are interesting. I really want to know about the cartridges. Oh, that's true. We didn't even mention that. Because they still haven't really come out with that. I mean, of course, they're going to be coming out with that in a couple of days. But, um, you know, cartridges are... They're something. I don't know... I mean, I... Well, cartridges are a very smart... For the, they're a very smart choice because you can't put a disc in that thing. Uh, like moving around with a disc and whatnot, that would not work. To download the entire game, you need a massive hard drive space inside the Switch itself. So well, having, yes. a, having a cartridge base and having some of just the gameplay storage, kind of like how the, exactly how the 3DS works. You have the memory card in the 3DS and you have a lot of the save data onto the cartridge itself. So it's brilliant. Yeah. And the fact that flash cartridges are faster than discs, it makes more sense. It's just interesting. So then you're going to have to like put your cartridge into the actual console if you take the game back. or well, I don't know how well, that here's the thing. interaction is going to work. The console itself is the tablet. The screen, that's the console. That yeah. dock you plug into, a game never goes into that dock. Never so you're saying everything it. is the cartridge. Every, every, everything is, yeah. The, one, the cartridge goes in the tablet and that's it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. But, um... You know the other thing, the one pro- the biggest problem I have, guys in their mid twenties are not going to be playing NBA Two K on that thing. I, I like what uh, Game Explain said. Like, why are the guys playing basket playing the basketball game when there's literally a basketball court right next to them where they're playing? Well, they took a break. They were playing basketball, and then they were like, "Yo, come here." And then they set it up, and I was like, "Yeah, oh. but I I can never see myself in a situation where like we go bowling. Like, yo, hold on, I'm gonna play we bowling now." Okay, that is true. That's true. <laughs> I don't know. At that point, just don't. It just but, seemed yeah. a little bit redundant. But you, That's true. But you did mention um the fact that everyone in the video was like in their like twenties, like it, at our, about our age range. Everyone mm-hmm. like it was aimed at a much larger audience. Where the Wii back in the day, you remember like the Wii would like to play. Like yeah, it was like families in, in their living room, grandma bowling with the kids and whatnot. This looks like a very much a more I don't want to say adult console. But definitely I mean, aimed at a older audience. I don't think you could ever say the two phrases "adult console" and "Nintendo" in the same sentence and have that be completely true. Because yeah. well, I th- you know it's just not what it is. But mm-hmm. it's true. They're trying to hone in on more of their actual audience as opposed to you know what? Let's try and convince everyone to buy this. They're like you know what? Who's actually going to like this and appreciate it? These people maybe in their mid twenties. So. Maybe it'll work. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I applaud them for trying. I don't know if it'll reach those people, honestly, but... It just... I, I think, of like, I wouldn't buy, like, a little kid this device. Because, yeah, nowadays kids have iPads, they have tablets, and stuff like that. Well, it's true. These games are supposed to be more complicated nowadays. I mean, people expect that. People yeah. expect the lower quality kind of games on the, on the phones, mm-hmm. on the mobile stuff, because... It's not usually that graphically intensive. You could play little things in spurts. Little kids love it. They run around, do whatever. But uh, yeah, it's true. So I think they're trying to make a more premium thing. And I think they're definitely on that path. But then, of course, the problems go with the specs. And then everyone's like, oh, my God. Yeah, Which we'll, 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 by we'll everyone going, oh, my God, I mean, that's me. But <laughs> well, no, I, I think I think we, we're all looking at this as Nintendo's last last chance. If this console doesn't do well, we could see them going the way of Sega and becoming a game developer only company sega yeah like like if in like it's not the biggest deal in fact it'd be kind of cool to see like give them a ps4 and see what they what kind of graphics they can get out of it but um it'd be sad to see the nintendo home console to just disappear i mean it's true i mean i guess it's like the fact that i don't play console stuff that much anymore that i don't think oh my god this tragedy but it's true. I mean, it'd be sad on a lot of levels. I mean, something you grew up with, and then it's like, wow. And it's true because also, you know, if Nintendo doesn't make a console anymore, can you really picture, as even the cybernetic Slayer man is saying right now, it's like, can you really picture a Nintendo, classic Nintendo game on, like, a PS4 or an Xbox One? That's really weird, right? I it's would, just something you wouldn't think. I would say yes, but I feel like Nintendo... If we took the issue of Nintendo being so up their own butt about like, oh, we need to add, add like motion controls or oh, it needs to infuse like a tablet. If we like 
restrain them to like just make a good game with these graphics, I think they would flourish. Like, look- oh, I, th- I think that's definitely true. It's just you always you the that's always the biggest thing. You hear Reggie in all his interviews. Honestly, here at Nintendo, doesn't matter about the graphics. I'm like, yes, it does. Like. It, it it does and it doesn't because again like I haven't we haven't played Color Splash yet, but like that paper in 1080p looks really good. Okay, fair enough. But like, you know, it took them that many years to just get in 1080p. Like, come oh, on. Well, yeah, no, okay. I'm not arguing that they were late to the game in terms of HD. They've been late to the game every single time. They've always cared more about let's make a something nifty about our console more than let's make it the most graphic intensive the problem is it's just such a gimmick after a while because you know it worked for the wii but then even while the wii was out it's like well i'd rather just hook up my gamecube controller it's like you know the gimmick can only last so long it's fun but like you know people at the end of the day they don't care so much about those super new intuitive they just want the best specs in the thing and play those high quality games. And that's what people well, that's really why like. Think, that's why I think they're trying to bank with the switch. Like, again, we don't know the specs of the switch, but the fact the that problem it's... is the portability, it's like, they're going to be competing with like the phone and tablet market. Well, as I, it is, that's I... always been the problem recently with the three DS you're competing with people carrying around a phone. So you're going to have to carry around another thing. You know, it's just, it's tough. Th- this gets into, I guess we can talk Touching this for a little bit, this gets into the whole Super Mario Run discussion, because sure. now they are they're making a very active uh, move on the mobile market. We have Miitomo, we have Pokemon Go, and we have uh, Super Mario Run, the three games that came out for mobile so far. Wait, what was the first one? Miitomo. No, you wait. Miitomo, is... Pokemon yeah. Go, Super Mario Run. Oh, oh, well, Pokemon Go is Niantic. It's Niantic, but it's still under Nintendo's roof. Yeah, like true. they still, okay. they still like yeah. in all their yeah, press yeah. things, they still have to like put. You're right, you're right. So Super Mario Run comes out at ten dollars. Well, comes out at free for three levels, and then you have to pay ten dollars for the rest. Now, mm-hmm. Josh, you've have you played through the entire game yet? Yes. Do you think you got there's ten dollars worth of content? No. How much would you pay for that game? Five tops. Five tops. Which okay. which is what I had said before the game came out, mm-hmm. but uh. Yeah, I mean, I just... It's okay. But like, it really just doesn't do much for me. But here's the thing. It's still a very fun game, and for their first, like, full jump into the mobile market, it's a pretty good title. Well, I gotta say, I admit, I think the graphics that they put on that were very nice. Yep. Oh, um, it, looks, it looks great. Like, on an iPad even, it looks awesome. Yeah, no, I, I commend them for that. Like, that's a job well done. I just think... I don't know. There's something in me that is just like, I wish there was more. I can't even tell you exactly what it would be, but just like, I feel like there should be more to it. And I guess maybe the fact that, well, the only other additional things are just collect more of the coins in different spots. And then you have to keep like retrying the level. It's like, oh my God. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, like, I think it's just okay. My brother thinks it's just okay. But one of my cousins that I saw over the holidays, whatever, he's, like, in love with the game. Like, he literally, like, maxed out, like, every single level, got yep. every single coin on every single thing, has, like, all the million world things, with every decoration. Like, he has, my like... My little cousin's the exact like same five, way. He has, like, 5,000 points on the online thing. I'm like, oh, my God. So, I mean, some people just really love it. I, it's just not the greatest game for me. So, I mean, I think I think it was a good step into the mobile market, though. I mean, clearly, it was, like, one of the top games. I think it still is up there. It's up there, yeah. Um, you know, the ironic thing is, it's funny, every time Nintendo announces anything, their stock goes down. It's really sad, but it's really funny at the same time. Well, it's funny. There's a build-up, and then they finally announce it, it goes down. Because people are like, oh my god, the Switch could be this greatest thing, and then probably in two days... Stock's going to go down because people are like, oh, my God, you only put 720 on that small screen. So, you Here's know, the, I, I'm terrified for Friday. It, it is Friday, right? The director is Friday. No, now. Oh, Thursday? it's like it's Thursday. Thursday. OK, yeah. I'm terrified for Thursday just because like they come out and it's like, yeah, it barely does 720 or something like that. Like, oh, uh. yeah. Do you want to have a morning party? <laughs> uh, okay. OK, here's this. What's your nightmare scenario? What do, what do you not want to hear? If, see, I say if, but I already read rumors that <laughs> if the smaller screen, the one that you just take with you, 
if that really is true, the rumor that it goes down to 720 with a 30 FPS cap, I'd actually be really sad. Because 30 FPS really doesn't cut it today. I gotta say. The 720, I hear the argument because a small screen, 720, you can kind of get away with yeah, it. Yeah, 720 is going to look fine. The, the frame but, rate is the bigger but issue. But if it's really capped at 30 frames, I, I just, I don't know. So... I would really be disappointed in that because, okay, at this point, for me at least, 1080p, you can't get much better at this point. I mean, unless you go to 4K. 4K. But, but like, not everyone has 4K stuff. I don't I don't own anything that's 4K. So well, 1080p is fine for me. But, it's, like... It's funny that you mentioned 4K because we see Sony and Microsoft, and they're jumping to 4K already. The, well, the uh, thing is, but why would I ever expect that? We've always said it. Nintendo's behind. So, like, I would never expect them to say 4K. I just don't i mean it's sad like i just don't even have a hope that they're gonna say 4k what if reggie comes out and says hey there's a 4k option would you go for it well i don't have 4k tv so i mean it's not gonna help me much but i would be happier in the fact that they are actually responding what if the portable screen that was 4k impossible how is that impossible how are they gonna make that 4k apple does it with retina display that's in 4k yeah technically Retina display is not 4K. Technically, it is. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, and if they, they are, do that, they are working with Apple now for Mario uh, Super Mario Run. If they do that, I'll be absolutely shocked. But <laughs> I'm just playing devil's advocate. Well, yeah. I mean, like I've read all the stuff. I mean, I've seen the statistics saying 720, either 30 or 60 FPS, and I'm like, oh god. So, and which is evidenced by that initial trailer with Zelda when the guy's sitting there walking the dog. Or whatever. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think it you lagged. can. I don't think you can take that initial trailer to mean anything, honestly. But then when I watched it on Jimmy Fallon too, it looked a little choppy on the graphics side, which I think was a 720. It, it looked awful in general on Jimmy Fallon though, because it was not like. Well, it was on also a projector I, thing. Yeah, I wanted. Know, I wanted a direct feed. Like I don't know what the Jimmy Fallon thing was and anything like that. So. Well, because they're just trying to push the product and not really be like, okay, here are the hardcore, or whatever. They're just like, hey, look, and it's like, yeah. Which, he actually knew a lot more than I thought he would. Oh, Jimmy but... Fallon's a huge Nintendo fanboy. Did you ever... I mean, I don't even know if I talked about it on here. Did you hear that, or watch that thing with him and Nicole Kidman and all that? Him and Nicole Kidman? Yeah. When they basically went out on a date, but he didn't know it was a date, and it was really sad? No. Oh, yes, 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 I did. And he, like Years later, he talks to her, like, oh my god. Yeah, I felt bad for him. I'm like, oh my god, my life. But um, <laughs> uh, in the uh, Twitch chat, uh, Geki Chopper makes a good point. It's not a finished video game yet. Like he has a point. Breath of the Wild is still being worked on as we speak. See, the problem is you have a point, and it's pretty much true. But that's really sad too because <laughs> they're supposed to be out by March, and yeah, then but you're Josh, like, here's the thing. Like, they, well, they no. made, made Breath of the Wild was a Wii U game. It's getting the Twilight Princess treatment of getting ported. I know, over but to the now Switch. they're going to be coming out with it in the summer, right? We don't Wasn't know that the whole thing. We have no idea. It, right now, it's rumored to be a launch title. So whenever the Switch comes out, it comes out. I thought there was something where they actually said it was delayed until some said uh, delayed to the end of the year. Some said delayed to the holiday. Some said delayed till summer. There's a report came out saying it's a launch title. Like there's a million rumors out there right now. Well, either way, I mean, it's you have to think though. It's essentially finished. It's just they're probably doing very fine little tune-ups. Yeah. So, well, have you, you know, have, you, have you, you been... can't just see a whole frame rate or graphic jump. Like, you know, it's pretty much done. Like, you can't say there's much more to go. I so, dis- I disagree. Uh, Final Fantasy. Even see, even the classic killer. You know, people agree with me. Well, how much? Okay. Yeah, you can't change it that much. I, I I look at Final Fantasy 15. Um, it was originally scheduled for I think an October release. It got pushed back a full month to November. No, it was at the end of September it was supposed to come out. It got pushed to the end of November, and it was all to do with optimization and frame rate issues. They downloaded a giant 1.1 day patch that added a whole bunch of frame rate issues and optimization issues. They could totally optimize the game in a month. I think it's just I have no faith in Nintendo to be like that, but. We'll see. We'll see. But, here, but here's the thing, Josh. It's Nintendo's last like try. If if Zelda isn't a good, if let, let's just play the idea here. If Zelda's not a good Zelda, they're not gonna sell Switch consoles. I'm buying a Switch to play Breath of the Wild. So here's my question: Switch. Let's say it comes out middle of March. Okay. Zelda is pushed back until June. Okay. When are you buying the Switch? What's their launch title? That Mario game. With the I, rings. I buy day one. 
Really? Yeah, of course. Now, you better promise me that you have to play it in an apartment and look out your window (laughs) and see your friends on a rooftop. (laughs) And you will go there. I will. And you will bring the switch. (laughs) Okay, so I'll go to I'll I'll visit you at your apartment in the city (laughs) and I'll like stand on the roof and like wave and then come inside. We'll play the game together. You have to. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. But, I mean, as it is, there was some leak the other day where it leaked even, like, a full-fledged Kirby game. Mm-hmm. But it, lo- it looks so fake, uh, at least the well, picture. L- but- let's let's uh, uh, transition a little bit and talk about the games that the Switch has confirmed, they've shown. Sure, sure. So, we already talked a little bit about Breath of the Wild. Um, are you excited for that game? I know you're not the biggest Zelda guy. Well, I... I like it. You you still can't beat the first <laughs> Temple of Twilight Princess. Always correct. Uh, <laughs> I have not gone back since. You know, I still got to play that remastered I HD one. I haven't opened mine yet. It, it's so bad. I've Every Amiibo that I bought in 2016, I haven't opened yet. So I have like the Mega Man Collector's Edition, the Twilight Princess Collector's Edition, all these games that came with the Amiibo still like in this giant box in like the corner of my room. You know, like I've I've like opened it. But I didn't actually play it. Like I have the amiibo sitting there, but like I didn't. Ah, you I need should, a, You should come stream Twilight Princess with me, so you can I, you can finally beat it, and experience it. But then it's got to be on my thing. I want my amiibo <laughs> leveled up. You can do it. I don't care. Ooh. Did you buy the other Zelda amiibo? What a what? Um, back in December for Zelda's anniversary, they released the eight bit. Uh, Link amiibo. The oh, two, that came out already. The two Wind Waker amiibos and the Ocarina of Time amiibo. Oh, I didn't buy that. And all of them, they unlock things in the uh, Breath of the Wild. Unlock oh. items and oh. fish and all sorts of stuff. I'll look up what they do first, and then I'll be like, it, maybe it, I'll it, buy it, one. It's nothing amazing. The Wolf Link Amiibo is by far the best one in Breath of the Wild, but these ones yeah. are kind of cool. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, but um, I'm really excited for Breath of the Wild. They have this. Yeah. they have this entire campaign going on now, where they're, they're releasing like a uh, artwork and like screenshots in the game every other day. So it's I like, mean, it looks it looks really nice. Like I'm pretty excited to play it. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get it in some capacity. But it, just, uh, it looks massive. Yeah, I mean, I I just really hope that it's not gonna be too grindy. It doesn't look like it. Well, they said that if you want, you can honestly go fight the final boss right well, away. Well, yeah, I know, but I mean, grindy in a sense that like. In order to get here, you have to collect 100 of these things. Like, I hate those. Oh, I, don't, oh. I, I, have, I haven't gotten the sense it's going to be like that. I think it's more like to prolong your survival, pick up a lot of stuff, but, like, there's not going to be gated off stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we'll see, but I'm excited for that. But, I mean, the thing that confused me the most about their titles that they've kind of hinted at, especially from that, like, initial trailer and stuff, they it seems like they're just kind of remaking Games that are already very current. There are going to be a lot of ports from the Wii U to the Switch. That's the biggest problem I have. I mean, even seeing with the Cybernetic Slayer Man saying there's no F-Zero thing. I don't even know what the heck Eternal Darkness or Geist 2 is. But like, you don't know what Eternal Darkness is? I don't know. Oh, but, Josh. But either way, you Boo, know. Josh. Boo. All they're doing is like. It's like, oh, we're going to re-release Splatoon. We're going to re-release Mario Kart. It's like... Okay, okay. Wait, before you start saying re-release all these, we don't know if they're re-releases because the footage, <sighs> the footage they showed had new content. It could be as simple as that. Just like, oh, it's Splatoon on Switch and we added more costumes. Oh, it's Mario Kart 8 on Switch with a new track or something like that. It could be that. Or they could be the next full-fledged game. It could be Splatoon and Mario Kart 9 and stuff like that. We don't know yet. Mm, I, well, I looked at those leaked logo things. Though, again, lots of leaks. Could be. Who knows? Oh, I don't know. Here's, here's the thing. I'd be okay buying Mario Kart on Switch again. I'd be okay buying no. Smash Bros. again. I'd be okay. Splatoon is the one I'm like, eh. Because like I played it a lot and it was great, but like I I feel like that game needs a lot more new content than like oh new costumes to get me back into it. Like I I don't know. There's a point where you just kind of you what is it? You ring the well dry or 
I don't know. So, like they're reusing too much. Like well, th- I, th- they're banking on the fact that there was so little Wii U sold. It's like we need to get more money out of this. Like we I know and, we didn't make back first, what we wanted for people that actually had the system and actually bought those games. I'm like, uh, okay. So for me, it's going to take a lot of convincing to buy any of those games that I just said again, essentially. Well, yeah, here's, here's something interesting. Uh, Slayer mentions in the chat, the only way he'll bite for another Mario game is if, it, if it's double dash two in, in that trailer. Which, that's actually what it did look like. It looked like that's double, true. it looked like double dash. Two. It was that on, is, that it was is on true. double dash track and they're using the two items, the two characters. That, that like is it. true. That is true. I would totally, cause double dash is one of my, one of my favorites, honestly. Double dash was a great game. Um, Okay, fair enough. But okay, like, and uh, for for Smash Bros, let's say they take all the DLC. They really you sp- told me this. Yeah, let's say they take that all. Let's say they take yeah. all the, the 3DS stages and mm-hmm. the Wii U stages, mm-hmm. graphically update them all, mm-hmm. get everything at 60 frames per second, even the assist mm-hmm. trophies who were at 30 before. Ugh. Throw in the ice climbers, mm-hmm. who because this is a new system, a new generation of system, it doesn't have to be compatible with the Wii U or the 3DS. So the the uh, Switch is more than more than powerful enough to use the uh, uh, the two uh, models at the same time. Yeah, is that enough for you to rebuy Smash Bros? Well, it's funny because I really didn't buy any of the Smash DLC. Okay, so, so it, well, that's better so for you then. That that would maybe get me, but the problem is that first of all, I just for me, I like online stuff and. The whole thing with Smash, though, Smash is like that in-person, like, gotta play someone. And it's always tough for me. It's usually me going over someone else's and playing Smash and stuff. It's never people playing on mine. So it's like, is there even a point of me buying it myself? Like, you know, so... Yeah, but now, I don't know. Josh, the Switch is fully portable. So you come over my house, bring your Switch, I have my Switch. We each get our own screens to look at, and boom. That's expensive. <laughs> I'm, but, I'm not saying like that's like 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 oh Timmy you want your friend over oh mommy he doesn't have a switch oh let's go buy more switches like it's 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 <laughs> it's gonna create a subculture of people who own the consoles if you don't own the console come on over play on my TV we'll play on the TV together if you have your own bring yours over we can sit wherever we want and play it it gives maybe. you so much options and freedom maybe maybe but I uh, I mean we need to see on the, on the games thing. See, the problem is, I don't think they're really going to reveal too much about the games still, like in two days. They, I, I no, they're going to release launch titles. That's been confirmed. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm looking forward to that a lot because that, that'll really... <laughs> Do you think they'd really come out and like, here's a little stuff. It's coming out this date. Bye. <laughs> I mean, have you seen half of Nintendo's directs and things? Fair I mean, enough. Fair enough. I mean, as it is, we saw... Okay, biggest example. The Animal Crossing Plaza on Wii U. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing. Then it's going to sync up with whatever, and they're going to put out this great Animal Crossing for Wii U. The Wii U was full of empty promises, all right? I, there I don't are understand. so many empty like, promises in the Wii U. And then they're like, well, let's come out with some Animal Crossing game, Amiibo Festival. Oh my god. Okay, like, now you're pandering to Fong. I saw yeah, but, you. No, but like... I mean, it's so true. It's but a no, great example. Thing, I think for the last like two years, Nintendo has known the Switch is coming out, and they don't want to blow their load on like good titles on a dead console. You I know, know they, sounds, I know, they better they better show something for an actual Animal Crossing on the Switch. Well, right now we know they're working on an Animal Crossing game for mobile. They've confirmed they're working on a Fire Emblem and a Animal Crossing. So we know that, but I think they're going to take everything they learned from the Wii U, like the, A, the Happy Home Designer, the new Amiibo update to New Leaf, yes, the, yeah. uh, they're going to take all of that and put it on the Switch. Because I think you and me have talked in the past before too, Animal Crossing is a portable game. When I went from Wild World to City Folk, I couldn't do City Folk. I got no. like legit like bored. Like, yes. can, I, can I go somewhere now? And yeah, this, like, like I don't want to sit here. <laughs> and then New Leaf came out, New Leaf was amazing. And yes. what does Nintendo do? They re- they just make an update a couple months ago for New Leaf. Like, hey, do you guys still like this? The update is well received by everyone. They love it. Like, they'd be yes. dumb not to make their new portable console an Animal Crossing game. I would have to think, but they better not wait another year. 
They've had a lot of time to think about it. They need to be really aggressive. I think they're banking a lot on Zelda for the first year. Zelda, I think Zelda for launch, Mario for holiday. See, the problem is I can't live forever, man. They need to just give me these games. <laughs> like, uh, the problem is right now, Animal Crossing's got a lot to prove because right now Stardew Valley has my heart. Stardew Valley is amazing. It, it is a fantastic game, and it's on my brand new great desktop computer that i love to I gotta, death i gotta see that thing by the way still I you still gotta it. visit my place i know because <laughs> next time i get stranded in the city i'll make my way over to flushing instead of like i don't know where to go see and you could have seen my computer then too i but, let's not bring up that night <laughs> i completely wholeheartedly offered like, I was not kidding at all. I was, like, literally no, come no. over. I know you do. I was dehydrated. De- dehydrated. I was dehydrated. I was sad. I was afraid. I di- wasn't thinking right, okay? <sighs> That's another story. Back to the Switch. Um, switch. Click. Okay, so, yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Switch. Yep. Um, so, yeah. Those, so those are the games we saw, like, the Nintendo games that could be ports coming over there's rumors of mario um mario maker coming over stuff like that which okay i actually i gotta say i agree with the game explain people i i still i really don't see the point at this point in time mario maker for 3ds who's gonna i i don't get it i don't understand half the games they're doing right now for 3ds Uh, oh yeah yoshi Uh, and poochie and no that's pathetic absolutely pathetic yeah that's awful I mean, you could play it on a new Galaxy 3DS, but like aside from that, I, <laughs> I, I just I don't know. Can we agree that I think you and me have like a secret dark love for Reggie and uh, Bill and those stupid like Nintendo skits? I I mean I love it. Where are my donuts? Where are my, where's my Galaxy it's, 3DS? It, it's so poorly written, but so hilarious at the same time. The product plugs are just so blatant. blatant. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so good, but like. But I, they, I don't know. They've been dropping the ball. But <laughs> I really hope we'll that see what the direct we'll see what on, they got the direct on Thursday. I really hope it's very straightforward. I like they're probably gonna inject their like Nintendo humor and whatnot. But I would be okay if it was just like dark room, light turns on. There's Reggie sitting in like a chair and like a like an easy jacket, and just like so you want to have the switch, huh? Here are the graphics. Here's the price point. These games like just no. tell us like. Give it. Uh, give us the facts straight. Don't like you make know, this entire. There's going to be multiple segments, and one of them is going to be that always classic Bill Trinan sitting in a very light room in a <laughs> chair, whether it's like white around him or in like a couch in like a den with like looks like little trees and stuff behind him. Yep. Yep. And he will be sitting there, arms crossed, telling us about some of the greatest new games coming out for the Switch. In this one, you can explore the breath of the wild. I'll be like, shut up. You already showed me a whole entire day's worth of E3. So, you know, it'll just be like, that Do you kind realize of thing how there. long they've been showing us Breath of the Wild? It's really funny because, especially if they actually confirm that they're pushing it back. They're it's not. Like, they, if they push it back, they're, it, no. They would not be starting this like, entire campaign. They have a countdown going to it. I mean, you said you'd buy it anyway if they made Mario instead. <laughs> oh no, I will. I will. that that's not the issue. But just they have so much because again, it's the it's the last Wii U game. So not, it's also just very interesting how that one girl, that one treehouse girl, all of a sudden took over as like the queen of the treehouse. You know which girl I'm talking about. You have a weird fascination with the treehouse people, Josh. I will never understand it. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about, but I will never understand your fascination with the treehouse people. Man, it's a it's a very hated relationship. It's not even love hate. It's just a hate. Slayer says he will not be surprised if they delay Zelda. See, <sighs> but it's you guys, just because you guys spread hate. It's because they've lowered expectations so much. That's why we even liked Nintendo's E3. Because they were literally like, well, we've got Zelda. We were required to talk about Pokemon for like an hour. And that's it. And it's like, well, hey, it was pretty good. <laughs> so like, <laughs> Spe- Speaking of which, let's, let's, uh, let's segue off a little bit here. Pokemon. Pokemon Stars, Pokemon man. Pokemon Stars. I don't know how much I actually believe that. But I would love it. It I mean, sounds so you but you saw the uh, the models they found, right? Maybe. Someone yeah. hacked the 3DS version of Pokémon Sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh-huh. and there's walking animations 
for Correct. every single Pokemon in the game. Yes. But they were not implemented at all. I mean, you say that, but, you know, that always happens in certain games. It even traces back to even, like, Gold and Silver. I True, remember them but saying over, stuff with that. But over 800 fully developed models, the only thing they were missing with their colors? No, I, I hear you on that. I, I hope. I hope they follow through. Because, you know, the thing is, you think about it, it's like, okay, so if 3DS Wii U are not really going to be a thing, then you're going to the Switch, and I'm assuming Pokemon will go with it. So... It's gotta, it's gotta happen, right? You see, I have this, so, cra- I have this crazy idea in my head though, where you know how like Black and White and then Black and White Two is the sequel, quote unquote, like they're different games, they're not just the third version. Yeah. What if Pokemon Stars is the continuation of Sun and Moon? So that's you, fine. You play the game on your 3DS, you yeah. get your Switch, you get, you transfer like everything over, and then it's like, oh, you've been gone from Alola for like five years since you've been gone. We have eight. Pokemon gyms built across Lola, and oh, now the Pokemon follow you because that's the thing that happens now. Like, what if it's a, what if it's more or less the same game, but like a sequel, quote unquote? Because I don't have a problem. The biggest concern was this: Pokemon Stars was rumored the day Pokemon Sun and Moon came out. I remember we were like playing the game together. I think I like pulled it up on Twitter, like, hey, look, yeah. they announced Pokemon Stars. How? <laughs> like, what? Like, yeah, I it, mean, it seems bad to release these two games so close to one another. And I don't think it's going to be a launch game. I think it's anything. It's going to be like their November title for next year. Yeah, or this mm-hmm. year, we're in twenty seventeen now. Wow. Yeah, but like, but, would, you, uh, would you buy that? I mean, I would have to. It's a main Pokemon. The game. first console Pokemon game mainstream. Uh, I mean, the thing is, though, if it's their only console, then they don't have a choice. But you know, I think it'd be great. I would I would basically have to buy it. If I don't have a Switch by then, I kind of have to buy it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, actually, and at that point in time, if it comes out later in the year, I'll have a more defined schedule. I'll probably have time to actually play it. So it's like, sure. Well, yeah, that's applying to you, though, but thanks to like, the public at large. Well, I mean, some of the people are just even now getting Pokemon Sun and Moon for the first time. So, like... Exactly. So, do you think it's better for them to hold off on this yes. Pokemon Stars? Yes. Okay. No, yeah, I think that's perfectly acceptable. I mean, we were spoiled for a little bit there where a brand new, like, Pokemon game was coming out once a year. Once a year, every November, yeah. But now it's not. But, like, <laughs> it was, like, three years or something. But, um, you know, I I think it's fine perfectly appropriate for that i'm excited for it if it's really a thing makes sense mm-hmm. um i'm trying to think what other games i saw um we it's been confirmed that a ukulele which was originally mm-hmm. going to be for the um oh that's the, true the wii U, uh, yeah. platonic came out so they've canceled the wii u version it's not coming out yeah, anymore yeah. Uh-huh. and they're now focusing all their efforts on the switch hmm. which is very interesting um in the trailer we saw skyrim the the uh, uh the complete uh, edition playing on the switch which i know sure. is, skyrim has been played to death yada yada mm-hmm. but the, the fact that that's one of the games they showed off during the trailer it goes back to my mm-hmm. idea like this is a more adult console like that's a mature rated yes pretty yes, complex that game that they're toting is like hey look at this look what we got over here they're trying to get with the times the problem is i'm afraid that's gonna be just a little be like hey look or hey listen to be more Zelda oriented, but it's then, funny you mentioned that there's an item in a Binding, Binding of Isaac called Yo Look, and it's just Navi, and like it points out things for you instead of Hey, huh. listen. I like it, yeah. but uh, you know, I think I just I don't know how many more of those are going to happen, like those kinds of ports. So huh. we also have um, the rumor right now that um, Mother Three. Otherwise, oh, I heard that. Yeah, Earthbound mm-hmm. Three is coming to the Switch. That they're using, they're not using the fan translation. They're using an like, honest to good new translation, and that it's going to be launching on the Wii on the uh, the Switch as a brand new title. I mean, I'll be pleasantly surprised. I'll leave it at that. I guess. There's the rumor of Beyond Good and Evil Two being a Switch exclusive for the first year it comes out. Mm-hmm. There's uh oh this is a weird one. There's a weird rumor about um a Mario RPG with the rabbits. Oh no, that's oh, oh I forgot. That's actually like more or less confirmed. Is that confirmed? 
I thought so. Like a couple months ago, I thought I read something on that too, and I thought it sounded like it was confirmed. That's weird. And it seems to be getting like steam too. That's just weird, though. I mean, it, I think that's a little kid title, and it'll work. I wouldn't buy it. But here, the fact that they're calling it Super Mario RPG, which is was was the title of the uh, the SNES game with Gino. If there's any connection mm-hmm. whatsoever to that game and Gino, I will be a happy, happy person. I, Josh, you no. lied. It, it, it is Friday, not Thursday. The 12th? The 13th it comes out. I thought it was the 12th. Treehouse Live Nintendo, 13th. No, yeah, that's the next day they're doing that. Yeah, no, the, the actual announcement is the 12th, and then they're doing Treehouse oh, the on the direct, 13th. the direct is the 12th, and then they're doing yes. it all. Okay, never mind, sorry. Yeah, so that that's fine. On my calendar, only it's the 13th. Gotcha. Sorry. Um, yeah. But, uh, it's like, it makes sense, the different games, you hear different rumors out there, but I mean, we'll all see about that, but what about even this price point? You have been seeing these articles the past couple of days all of a sudden? I, I'm, I've been mostly staying away from everything, it's, it's at the point now, back when, like, when we still called the NX, I, mm. I think I talked about, we were just so tired of all the rumors. It's like, it does this. No, it doesn't. It does this. Like, every little thing. There yeah, was I mean, it's funny. It's just like, there was one rumor like a week or two ago where it was like, actually, it translates to about $400 or something. And I was like, wow. But now it's funny. Forbes came out with their own article um, earlier today or yesterday, technically, literally with the title, pretty much everyone thinks the Nintendo Switch will cost around $250. Well, which, yeah. based on some looking into and based on some things, which, honestly, I think that's a fair price point. Um, I think two fifty is their only way to go about this. Here's my issue with that: they said over and over again they want to sell the console at profit, which almost no one does. Microsoft and Sony always sell at a loss. Nintendo has broken even most of the time. They want to sell this at profit, which good luck. Well, here's here here's what worries me. If they're selling a profit, it's only two fifty. Dear God, what are the specs inside of that thing? Because that does not sound powerful. Garbage. <laughs> I, I would be more than okay with paying four hundred for it. No. Four hundred being my limit. I mean. I I don't work full time right now. I got well, I know so you, much okay. debt to pay off. So do like, I. <laughs> I cannot just have four hundred bucks to drop. Do you own a PS4? No. Do you own an Xbox One? No. Those were all starting at 400 though, and people bought them. I built my whole PC, and that costs a lot more than 400 I'm done with okay, spending so then, that much okay, money. Okay, you can't, you can't sit there saying that you built a PC that costs more than that, and you wouldn't buy, pay 400 for a Switch. Because now I'm broke. <laughs> like, so, wait, 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 Slayer's yelling at me in the chat. 400 no. I'm saying see? 400 is the max. I, don't wa- I would like to be free. I want like a dollar for the console. Like I'd be okay with that, but I want this console to kick like my ass. I want like my expectations to be blown out the window. And if they're charging two fifty and they're saying they're selling that at profit, I don't care what deals they've made with companies, what kind of whatever they got. There's no way that inside will be powerful enough if they're selling it at two hundred fifty dollars profit. Then they just got to change their business ways because they did hire new marketing people. So you never know. Um, you know, if you go based on past stuff, they've been trying to change it up a little bit. And there could be things like when they had the Wii U, there was the eight gigabyte, uh, gigabyte, gigabyte <laughs> model and the thirty-two gigabyte model. Which, if oh you yeah, there the were eight rumors- gig, you were just you're idiot. done. <laughs> yeah, but you know, there's also now like a couple rumors going out where I think, yeah, they were saying like it'd be like thirty-two gig for the console, and that's it. Which, even, like, I don't know, Nintendo has their own weird form of storage, but, like, it's, like, 32 gig nowadays is not enough. What do you mean their own own weird form of storage? Where they're, they're like, blocks and whatever. I don't know. Yeah, but you could you could plug in any external hard drive into a Wii U and bam, one well, terabyte. Yeah, I, I know, but, like, you know, it's just, like, eh. they They use blocks on the 3DS because that, like, it's using an SD card and it's using, like, such a small number to begin with. On the Wii U, it's just straight gigs. Okay, fair enough. But, like, you know, you look at, like, Xbox One casually is like, well, our lowest model is only 500 gig. Like, you know, 
like you go from 500 gig to a Nintendo product. It's but, like we've got 32 gigs. Everyone, but, look at us. It's this like, goes huh. back to the the, the uh, cartridge discussion. On an Xbox One, you're downloading the entire game onto the hard drive. That's a 50 gig game sometimes, even more depending on the game. With this, you're not downloading games onto the console. You're putting in a cartridge. The entire game is on the cartridge, and because it's flash storage, it loads right from the cartridge. There's no disc spinning. There's no downloading. There's nothing of that at all. Mm, yeah, that's true. So it, it makes more sense, especially portability. Because, again, when you have like a disc spinning, think of all those little components you have to have moving. That's a lot of battery power. Oh, we'll get to the battery in a minute, too. Um, so let me run this by you. If yeah. you want to download a game from their eShop, how does that work? Who knows? Does it even have an eShop? Mm. I would hope that they finally do a GameCube e- eShop that's being rumored. <laughs> like, can you imagine playing, like, Luigi's Mansion on a Switch? Yes, please. I don't know. I mean, I have a GameCube. I have Luigi's Mansion. Just play yeah, it on there. But we're, like, the hipster people now who have every console and whatnot. I'm talking about... I know. The... I literally have, like, every single like, console. I would, I would love to see, like, my like my little cousins who play Pokemon. Like, they know nothing beyond... They know nothing uh, before X and Y. Yeah, like, one of my Pokemon, like, Facebook group things, it was, like, someone put up some image and it was, like, I remember the good old days with my first game and it showed, like, Platinum. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I I had um the red blue and yellow the virtual console on the 3ds downloaded. I brought it to my little cousin's house. They're like they're like six, seven, eight, like that age. Yeah. He was flabbergasted. Like this is the first Pokemon, and he played it the entire day, just playing like I think my version of yellow. I just didn't play it. Like he was enamored by it. These kids don't know. Like again, like these games are yes, they're old, they're outdated, blah blah, blah but they're classics, and the kids just don't know. I mean, if you watch, that's what all that the current ongoing games done quick thing like. Oh, you God. know, you know, it's all old games. Like you think about it, who's speed running the newest games that are coming out? Really, no one. Oh, well, it depends. Like I know people like Shovel Knight speed runs, and Shovel Knight's only a couple years. Okay, old. but for the most part, it's just like tons of old games that people are just like clinging to, and we're like, well, let's keep speed running this, and let's keep finding glitches and whatever. Like you don't find that in new games, so it. You know, it's a nostalgia factor and whatever. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know? well, um, do you know who the who uh, Jim Sterling is from the Jim Inquisition? No. Jim Sterling, he um, he's a YouTuber and whatnot. He's a reviewer. He's very, very uh, what's the way? He's very odd, and he's very uh, like he uses a lot of like I don't say dirty language, but like he's very crass uh, about things. Mm-hmm. Um, his video today was all about how Nintendo's eShop is just. Like, then their virtual console is the worst thing ever. How, like, Nintendo could be making so much money if they just poured every single game from their past yes. into the I virtual mean, console. All can't you just look at what Sony and Microsoft do? Like, they pretty much do that. They take their old games, they're like, here you go. And people are like, thanks. He re- Nintendo's... He- Nintendo's like, we'll do a piecemeal, and it's like, eh. He reached the conclusion that they're so afraid of oversaturating their own market and they just don't understand the way people want to buy and play games. The fact that, like, you buy the game on the Wii, you had to buy it again on the Wii U, and then buy it again on your 3DS. Like, I own, like, three copies of Super Mario Bros. 3, I think, because of that. <laughs> uh, I, gotta honestly, love. I honestly do, I think. I, I wouldn't even doubt it. <laughs> but, like, if day one, they're like, you know what? The entire GameCube library is on the Switch to go buy. It would... It would make sense, but it's Nintendo, so it doesn't make sense. And speaking about don't make sense, we talked about it before. I see classic killers talking about Star Fox. I mean, they butchered that to death. I oh, mean, Star, like yeah, I saw that. Nintendo- oh, my God, <laughs> <laughs> it's on like, day one, still in Saran Wrap. It's on Amazon for like ten bucks now. F my life. <laughs> Do you know? Does that site that site still exist? Amazon? No. F- oh, like, F- my, FML.com? Yeah. I think so. Let's it check. It does. <gasps> no. Tangent. Oh, my God. This is current. It's from today. Like, a half hour ago, there's some top one. Today, when I realized I forgot my rice on the stove, I jumped off my chair and pulled off my headphones really fast. Now I've got burnt rice and broken headphones. <laughs> FML. <laughs> uh, good times. Oh, my God. It's I... funny. It's funny. There, there's a thing. It's a poll. I agree. Your life sucks. 
And then there's one that says you deserve it. it. Yeah, I'm on it too. Like it. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, anyway. Today my grandmother got my future mother in law's phone number somehow. She managed to upset her so much that my fiance now wants to call off the wedding. Fuck my life. Uh, oh man. Okay, let's get off this before we uh... Yes. Anyway, so yeah, so they butchered Star Fox. They but they they butchered Star Fox. Yoshi, yeah, I mean Yoshi's the old Star Fox. Yeah, exactly. N sixty four Star Fox. Uh, Star Fox. Wow. Star Fox. Yes, the N sixty four one is classic. But that's what the, here's the thing. That's what they did though. They basically remade N sixty four Star Fox, put a fresh new coat of paint, a bunch of really annoying controls, and like, oh, it's Star Fox Zero. Here you go. I know. That's why it's such a waste of everything. But uh, and also, by the way, Pokemon Gens one and two for life. Eh. But. Yeah, We've Gen, talked about Gen the gens. Two, Gen two We've is talked the best. about the gens. Gen two is the best gen. Although I really love the new gen a lot, a lot, a lot. But uh, you know, so the I don't know about this price point, man. We'll see. But what's I the what's do... the most you would pay? I know you're stingy, but what's the most you would pay? You're, uh, very, you're very frugal. I, sh- I shouldn't say stingy. Well. Thinking about the last console, I paid three fifty for the Wii U. You paid three fifty for the Wii U? Yeah, that's the deluxe thirty two gig. That's how much it cost, really? You bought it too. <laughs> no, it wasn't three fifty. Yes it was. Was it really? Three hundred was the eight gig, three fifty was thirty two gig. Wow. Okay, I, okay. I thought it was two fifty and three hundred. No, so here's the thing. I'll say then three fifty is my limit. It shouldn't be higher than that. Oh yeah, two hundred three fifty. You're right. Damn. Okay. Sorry. Shouldn't so it shouldn't be more than three fifty? Yeah. Okay. I see them doing a two model structure again, maybe. But either way, it looks like one of them is going to be a two fifty, and hopefully that's the only one. So we'll see. But. Eh. I don't know. Uh, here's the like again like the price is really gonna like if they come out and and they make all of our dreams come true well like i wouldn't i wouldn't have a problem paying like the full amount like 400 even i have too big of dreams kind of i I paid 400 for my ps4 this is essentially a next-gen console maybe i'm just spoiled i have my computer my computer can run PS4 and Xbox games better than those con- those actual consoles, pretty much, well, that, or at least the same. That goes back to the discussion where if Nintendo gets rid of their console and just makes games, like you imagine, like boom, Mario Galaxy three on Steam. I know it would save me a lot of money, a lot of whatever. Ah, uh, man, I don't know. So, we'll see. I just want Stardew Valley. Well, it's on PS4 and Xbox One. No, I already have it on Steam and on my desktop. I'm just not on my desktop. <laughs> did, you, did you upload the uh, upload any mods yet to Stardew Valley? No, oh, I, I I like the just original thing. I think it's very fun. I just like having like my dog as a growl and stuff like that. No, I got and, my like, little cat. I like him. Like the fountain in towns, there's a bunch of like Starmie playing in the water and stuff like that. Yeah. All the people, everything else, everything else is the same. Just like all the animals are Pokemon. I mean, I'm fine without it, but. We'll see. Still, I mean, I'm only still in year one. Slayer like, paid two fifty for his PS4. How'd you do that, Slayer Black Friday deal? Yo, the see, man th- who th- waits. Th- this is the problem. I'm I'm always an early adopter when it comes to this stuff. Mm. I'm day one, sitting outside in the cold, outside Nintendo World, buying these things too early. I you bought, know, I, I was... bought the Wii U day one. Day one, I had the Wii U set up. Me and uh, Scott White, Solid Snake 120 on Twitch. Uh, me mm-hmm. and him were like using like the FaceTime feature in the Wii U to talk mm-hmm. to each other. Like, yo, uh... this is the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! And now you have oh. and like, but let's look where this this thing is competing with now. Now we have the PS4 Pro, which is a giant pile of garbage. I don't care what D Terry Robe says. Hey, you agree with me now? Thank you. Okay. I, I never not I did never did not agree. Okay, fine. Like, when they when they, when they announced it, it's like okay, it's cool, but then like in practice, it runs worse than the PS4. It's like really? How does that, <laughs> how, how do you allow that? Uh, lol. And now the Xbox One S, which I want one of those things so bad because it's smaller and perfect and does Blu-ray and does 
true 4K and all. Hey, stuff. hey! I was saying that the whole time. Now you back on the Xbox? I, okay. okay. No, no, no. I'm not saying I want the Xbox One more than the PS4. I'm saying that in terms of like the new slim or like the like mm-hmm. the it's version, nice. The it version 2.0. Nice. Xbox nice. did a great job. P- Sony yes. is shitting the bed. I told you it's time Xbox flipping the script now. But uh, well, they, they had to. Xbox was getting their ass kicked. For I know, years. but now they're really making a comeback. But uh, you know, uh, what was it? One of my friends, she has an Xbox One S, and I got to play on it. Whatever, it's nice, man. It just looks nice. It comes with the white control. Oh, oh, baby. I mean, I already have the Xbox Elite controller, but it, it's like the. <laughs> it just looks nice. The man who doesn't want to pay more for his Switch has the Xbox Elite controller. That's a hundred dollar controller. No, it's actually one hundred and fifty. One hundred fifty dollar controller. Yeah, I paid one hundred and fifty dollars. You're for paying a controller. that much for the controller. Yep. Don't even own a. Don't even own the console, but. Um, you, Josh, you baffle me with like where you put your money sometimes, like how you value things. I like nice things, man. But uh, I like nice things too. But like, you, you did talk me out of buying the one hundred dollar spinning top made out of like marble. Trying to save your life, man. <laughs> how to save life? Where did I go wrong? I bought the wheel. <laughs> I mean, if you got money to blow, then sure. But, like, I don't think we're at that point in our lives. Almost there. Almost there. Eh, and then we'll we'll off of you for a couple years. I, I just took out, took out another loan for this upcoming semester. Did and I'm like, really? oh, boy. Oh, my God. I, I have to. I've been taking out loans for every semester of law school. That's true. Oh, fuck. So, yeah, I keep having to do loans every semester. And each semester, it's a casual, roughly twenty six, twenty eight thousand dollars $28,000 loan each semester. And there are six semesters, Kenneth. So please donate in the Twitch chat and subscribe <laughs> to us on YouTube. Any donations will go to me <laughs> paying off my school debt. Honestly, I should go back and see videos with you, how much they've made, and, like give you like a reimbursement check. I mean, I'll accept it. All, that would be very nice. All $57. <laughs> hey, man, it gets me. It, it helps. <laughs> uh, Kai King is a social ever really used in day-to-day life. I suspect it's useless. What? Is social ever really used in... Da- well, social security numbers are used in everyday life. Oh, no, he's talking life, about social, social class. <laughs> like, social, no. social studies? Um, social studies is used every day. How I'd, to donate. Click on the crown that has the dollar symbol underneath the uh, window. Yeah, actually, if you scroll down on... Did you see, Twitch, did you see those, those new I'm, icons? I'm looking at it now. If you... Social class. So, is, I think you that, mean middle class. Really no, because he says, it. I will risk falling asleep in social class for this. Oh, oh, that's social class, man. Yo, what, is, I'm not what, is, social what is social class? Is that a class teaching how to be social? You know, honestly... I'm I not social need, at all. I think they need that nowadays, but... Uh, honestly, with people on their screens, yeah. Is being social ever really used? Yeah, it is. You you should be social. I mean, I'm definitely yeah. being social with you right now. Taylor. But it's 11 o'clock, should you sleep... I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's almost 1 a.m. our time, so... What, what is life anymore? No, I don't know. Um, law school will get me paid. Eh. I mean, I didn't go for that super high job. I've, I've got a decent job. It's oh, yeah, that's a- right. Uh, Killer is up in Canada, so they call it social. It's history. It's social studies. Oh, history. Yeah, Um, that's interesting. Those who do not learn history are doomed to repeat it. Right, Nintendo? Gab- well, Gabby, if you're listening to this, tell me if that's true. Gabby's this here? Con- no, but she'll listen to this. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm Gabby. Cur- she's Canadian, so I'm curious if she took social class. But, L- okay, history class. Yeah, history, yeah. You just got to write an essay. It's I think fine. Louise is here, too, but she has this muted. Hey, Louise, if you're listening to this. Aww. You hate history. What? But that's how you learn from your mistakes. No, but... Uh, <laughs> right, the- Nintendo. He agrees. <laughs> exactly. But, the by the way, the donate thing, if you are serious or even if you're just curious, yeah, you do have extra things. So on... I mean, I I don't know how on YouTube at the moment, but oh, I guess you you click um well, you have a link to donate on well, YouTube. I think on there's YouTube, a link on YouTube. It's just the YouTube tip jar on like the page, but the twi- okay. the Twitch one is just much easier. You yeah, just Twitch ones. On if you if you like scroll down his uh, bio thing, and then there's one that's literally titled like donations, and it's like the crown with the money thing in it. Then do you, you, just you like those click. Cr- do you like those crowns I made last night? I do. Um, I don't like the FAQ one. The question marks? 
a little too much too dark right on the effects and i, don't, I think he went a little overboard on that one okay i'll, but, I'll fix that one but I was, uh, I was i was double questioning that one myself too so but i i like the other ones very nice it looks very clean on, as on a phone kids i have no like clue this. gotcha but um when you get around to it obviously no pressure to donate or anything yeah, but if you're very serious that that is the way to do it um but um yeah so i mean even going with the history and hey nintendo yeah yeah yeah. so yeah they really don't learn but maybe they will let's actually see in two days so let's throw the conversation to the chat for a minute guys in the chat is there anything you want me and josh to talk about the switch that we haven't uh addressed upon already do 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 is there anything you can think of josh um i mean again you know it's hard it's hard to go crazy about the specs because i mean i've already talked about even the 720 whatever and we've talked about 1080 and 4k or whatever so that's kind of it on the spec stuff i mean other stuff about the switch i mean i'm hoping they explain more about what really happens where oh you click this in and then this happens and you can use this controller you could use that controller i just like if they'd be very straightforward with that just to you know, make sure that everyone's actually informed because I'm slightly confused on how that interaction works. Like, do you have to set it to something? Because people were saying if you actually watch or listen in the Jimmy Fallon thing, yeah, 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 you, you're right. Reggie doing the one menu flip, you heard the menu sound. So he actually pressed something to switch from the screen to the other screen. So I'm hoping they show those interactions. They really should. I, I assume mean, the entire screen freezes when you lift out the dock and it's like resume question mark. And you hit that button and you just resume yeah i mean i just want to see the menu yeah, um, just... i'm assuming they're going to show that stuff i mean that's kind of stuff that i really want to make sure that they kind of go over yeah. uh i see here did you cover battery life you know really no one's actually really talked about that i don't think but you know one of the biggest problems for the wii u is that the battery life of their tablet literally is only like about three hours in total so people are like so how is this really that great for the tablet because you're always sitting there plugging into the charger yeah the wii u battery life is just abysmal so it's like you, you hope it's longer. The problem is this screen presumably is going to be processing a lot more, I would think, than the Wii U. Yeah. So, but like if it doesn't have at least like five hours worth of battery life, I would kind of be sad because how are you going to say, well, I got a long train ride. I'm going to take this with me for the whole day. You know, I'll just leave it on my backpack. Next thing you know, it's like dying on the train ride home. Like, you know. That would be kind of underwhelming, I gotta say. So, I would hope it have at least like five hours or something. But no one's really talked about it yet. There um, were the, the, r- the rumors about the way it would charge, how that thing might be moving away from priority charging to like USB charging. Oh, that that is true. I heard about that. The um, USB tr- the USB C plugs. Yep. yep. That. If that's true, then that's fantastic. USB C is very nice, by the it's way. Very very nice. I don't have anything yet with that. Neither but do I. Eventually, I would love to update my ports even on my desktop. Oh, baby. Uh, modify that in my tower. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, the customization's <laughs> all those, real. All those ports. Yo, give me those access ports any direction I want. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Yeah, it it'll it'll be kind of cool. I'd like to see that. I mean, it honestly, the USB thing would be great for their charging. I mean, because everyone's got the wall adapter stuff for their iPhones and whatever Android chargers. Like everyone's got those wall adapter things. Everyone's got the USB plugs. Yep. It would make a lot of sense. So that's something actually would be really smart move. I really um, hope because again, Nintendo's working with Apple now for like the better part of like six months, I've, probably longer, because they gave Apple the. Super Mario Run exclusivity to that to their platform. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The battery life in the iPhones, especially the iPads, that twenty four hour battery life is so good, and the iPads are pretty small. And the mm-hmm. iPads, they're doing full retina, retina displays. They're putting out video at at four K resolution. They're recording mm-hmm. like they're like the batteries of the iPads, phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Look at an iPad. Look at the Switch. It, the iPad may be a little bit bigger, but if they can get that, if they can take Apple's battery technology, there's no way you don't that think? they. No, I, I, I don't think like they 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 full on just take the uh, the iPad battery and slap it in, in a uh, a switch. But I'm if, if Apple like like said yo, 
you just need... the the thing is Apple has no interest. They if they want to work with them on their own mobile thing for their iOS, sure. But if Apple's but Nintendo making... on its own, what's the difference? But they if, don't care. If Apple's making a priority battery and selling to Nintendo, why at would profit? they give Nintendo access to their battery they're stuff? Making, you they're know... making a profit. They're not doing it for free. They're probably charging them, but they're not doing it for free. It helps. At that them point, both. they would just go directly to the per- like. Yeah, know. but who you... else? Who else need a, that needs a type of battery life? Who's not a threat? Like, here's the thing: Nintendo is not a threat to Apple. But, like, I don't know, I just, from a very contractual point and licensing deals, like, it just doesn't make sense to me why it would be in Apple's interest Again, it's that. like a pie-in-the-sky dream. It's like, it's me over here as the Apple fan, but, like, what if my two favorite people made love and, like, made a Switch? Like, it's... I mean, I'm a fan of Apple, too. I'm, I mean, I I'm love... I'm shipping I'm... Nintendo and Apple, basically. I love my iPhone, but, I mean, I have Windows PCs and stuff, but, like, I love my iPhone. But, like... I just don't see Apple doing that kind of deal with Nintendo. I, ju- I just don't. But I think Apple is in such a position where it's like, Nintendo better come to me. I'm not going to start giving them stuff. Like, it's got to be the other way around. So I don't know. But uh, it's true. Nintendo's not a threat to anything. You know, I kind of agree. Um, but it could all change, you know, in two days. So we'll see. I, but, I, I kind of wish, like, I want, like, uh, what's that movie called? Uh, it's a Wonderful Life, where the guy wishes he'd never been born. He gets to see like his life without like him in it. Honestly, that's one of my favorite movies of all time. I want to see what happens if like we just take Nintendo out of the equation. What do video games look like if we take Nintendo out of the equation? You know, because again, I N- Nintendo tell you. Nintendo saved the video game industry with Rob the Robot back in mm-hmm. the day of the NES. They revolutionized mo- uh, portable gaming with with the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, 3DS, all that all that stuff. They led the charge of motion controls. Mm-hmm. They're like, like if we take all that away, do we have, again? Like the original PlayStation was an attachment for the for the N sixty four. Yeah, no, I hear you. Like, I think I think you needed Nintendo there. The problem is their problem has always been lately. They're just stuck in that old mindset and they're not moving with the times. That's always been the trend. But we can be proven wrong in a couple of days. I'm hoping they move on. They actually like do stuff that's forward thinking we'll see but you know because they, they you know they, newer stuff nowadays they just do so much more and they're not just gimmicky based like maybe they'll have one little gimmick but it's a great thing nintendo's more on the other side of that so you know they really just need to tear down all the walls too don't make it region locked don't like give me friend codes yeah no i mean yeah exactly even those little things that seem so obvious nintendo doesn't do like their online stuff it got a lot better, but still, friend code stuff like it's just yeah. But now, now we up. have now we have the Nintendo Network IDs, which are just one like gamer tag. That, those are easy. We have the new rewards account too, mm-hmm. which is connected to that automatically. They're they're getting there, but it's still slow. Yeah, I'm hoping the, they put it time, all together. This is their time I know. Take the ball and punt it. That's why I'm just saying. I mean, I think we both agree. It's like so much is going to shape everything going forward in a couple days, based on what they tell us here. And, you know, I'm hoping for the best, but I don't know anymore. But also, by the way, as they're speaking about phones in the chat now, I was saying iPhone before. Google Pixel. That phone looks nice. That phone looks cool. (laughs) That phone actually looks really nice. Google, we're on YouTube right now. If you want to send me one of those, I will open it. If you send me one of those, I'll actually use it. (laughs) No. Ken will just leave it in a box in his room. You know, no. if it's somehow, like, I just got my iPhone 7 Plus for Christmas, so, like... Oh, I'm, did you? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I love this thing. Oh, yeah, because I, I saw you before Christmas. Yeah, that's so right. So, how do, you, how do you like your uh, Um, your, It's your amazing. Phone? It's very powerful. Uh, mm-hmm. The camera is by far the best part. Oh, yeah, I know. That, it's actually port- really good. That portrait mode double camera thing? Holy the, crap. The lighting, when it's dark like sort of dark and it's like oh lighting's not great you take a picture on that thing oh my god yeah you you don't even realize that it was bad lighting like the, it just actually the, camera, really the, the phone itself even says like hey you might want to get a little more lighting in this photo to make it even like better and make it pop like it tells you that yeah i mean because i don't have that one but my mom has it so it's like purposely like we'll be like get your phone out we'll use her phone or something but like i mean i have the regular seven and i think it's actually really nice i mean because i also went from a 5s so it was kind of like a really big step up for me yep but uh, but Google Pixel, Google it Pixel. came out of nowhere. Yeah. 
And I was like, wow, this thing's actually, like, clean looking. Like, it looks really nice. And the biggest thing is, did you see that advertisement where it's like, you can charge seven hours of battery life in 15 minutes? Yep. That's insane. Yep. Now, and, here, now here's the thing. What's it running exactly? Well, that's the problem. I think it, well, not necessarily the problem. I think it's it's running Android. Okay, because, that's the, I mean, how does it not? I mean, Google owns Android now. Well, that's, that's the thing. Back in the day, Google made Google phones that had Android on them, but they stopped because they got mad at the Android, at the Android uh, infrastructure. They didn't like how, like, there would be, like, 13, millions of, uh, 13 billion versions of, like, Android out there. Apple Pie, uh, Gingerbread, uh, all like all those different oh, like versions. Yeah, yes, well, and the I phones mean, weren't I, all the phones were all compatible. But the iPhone, they do iPhone iOS ten nine eight seven six, and the phones always upgrade. It takes like four or five years for them to like not be able to update anymore. To my knowledge, Android has now become more like iOS. I, they've cleaned it up a lot. To my knowledge, has and it? Just double checking on Google Pixel's specs. I mean, it says it comes preloaded right now with Android seven point one nougat. I, OS. Before, before we continue, I want to look at all the Android uh, names. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a okay. stupid El Capitan. Like, give me a break, well, stupid that, Apple trying to come out with whatever. They ran out of big cats, so they went to. Uh, <laughs> that's, but uh, like, I don't know. But the pixel. Looks okay, nice. okay, okay, okay. So look at this. I have a list of everything here. Sure. Um, there's still 0.1 percent of all Android users still using the original Froyo. Mm. There's 1.2 devices out there still using Gingerbread, which was the one right after that. There are 1.2 using Ice Cream Sandwich. So that again, that's a very, very small market. Yes. But, like, I feel like they hold on to the past. So right now, there's 0.4% people using Nougat, which is the current. Mm -hmm. 26 using Marshmallow, which is the one before that. 34 using Lollipop. So most of the market is using the software from two softwares ago, where I feel on Apple that doesn't happen. I mean, they don't have the statistics, so who knows? Well, no, they do. Okay. It doesn't happen. <laughs> all right, well. Here are all the names. Froyo to Gingerbread to Ice Cream Sandwich to Jelly Bean to Kit Kat to Lollipop to Marshmallow to Nougat. I mean, I give them credit. They're sticking with the theme. I don't know. But I just like the phone. It looks nice. If I ever had to get a second backup phone or company phone, give me that. Uh, yeah, mm. I, I, agree, <laughs> I agree. Honestly, I, but, uh, I, I love Google as a company too. So like that. Looks yeah. Cool. No, I I own I own ten shares of Google, man. Nice. It's 12. expensive. <laughs> Do you? Nope. Google's like, what is it up to now? I think it's over. I think it's back up over eight hundred again. So it's eight hundred. It's eight hundred dollars per share. Killer, like, killer in the chat. I think I have lollipop. Fuck. <laughs> Man, stop playing into the bad stereotype. Get up to that nougat. Uh, man, he likes your shares though. Yeah, man. Ten shares. Ten shares of Google. Get at me. No, <laughs> I got shares of Apple too. I got shares of whatever. But no, you don't. Yeah, I do. How many shares on Apple do you have? Uh, Point one. Fifteen? Fifty. Fifty? Five zero. Wow. I, I actually, I have a stock portfolio. Do you really? I need to get on that. I have not. I mean, the problem is I used now. I now that I have invested like the money I could in the stock stuff. Like, I have like, I think five different stocks that I've stuff in or whatever five different companies but now i don't have any more money to expend so i'm kind of waiting until i get my job and then actually have some money after also paying loans then i'll eventually get back in the game even though my brother's still moving around money all the time he just Yo, made can like I, can i hire you as my stock guy i just came to three thousand dollars i need to put in the stocks my brother just made three thousand from some random stock he invested in the other day he one literally of, woke up today yelling. He made three thousand dollars and one, took it all one out of, today. One of my mutual funds, uh, they just closed out at three thousand dollars. I got, I got it all. So I need to, I need to reinvest it somewhere. I mean, honestly, I can help you. Okay, I would, I'd, I, like I'd I'm, I'm dead serious. Oh no, 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 I'm dead serious too. I, I would appreciate that. Do I get it? Right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you ten percent. Okay. 
There. Yeah, I mean, cybernetic okay. man, I'll help you with their stocks. I'll help you. No, Apple's actually not that expensive. Apple stock is well, more look, affordable. They've been, they've been tanking lately because Apple is a piece of shit right now. Well, to be fair, I mean, you say tanking, but like their stock right now is one eighteen compared and... to what they used to be. No, 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 no. Because no, Ken, they cut they cut their stock. They they did the whole um they split it so. It's completely reset. Oh, the so, like, re- the, when, re- the restructure you're talking about? Yeah. So, okay. you, like, those values are not comparable. But, like, for example, when I bought Apple stock, like, a couple of years ago now, I bought it for, like, $90 a share. Now it's at, like, almost 120 So, it's been consistently around there right now. And they pay dividends. Dividends are great because it's free money for buying into the company. So, you know. So, you try and do that. Google doesn't give dividends. So, should but, I buy Nintendo stock before Friday? <laughs> No, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted. What if for, it's what if it skyrockets? Of, as your stockbroker, don't do it. <laughs> uh, I, I think I think uh, Joey. I think I made Joey buy uh, Niantic stock or like Nintendo holy, stock over over the God. over the summer, yeah. and like yeah, it, yeah. it went up really quickly, yeah. and he sold. Yeah, yeah. Then it went up a little, a little bit more, but then it, like it just crashed. And he's like, "Thank God, yeah." I sold my, that. my brother bought into that, and then he held it too long. <laughs> It was sad. Hey, look, Killer, Killer gets the joke. Apple's piece of shit all the time, huh? JK. He said they have the show. Yay. Hey, man. See, we got peeps. We got lots of peeps here. They know what's going on. We got four people watching, and two of them are me. One on here, one on my phone. I'll bring up another one. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you could, but... Um, this is our first time doing the live, so I'm glad that Killer and Slayer have been here the entire time, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you, guys, first of all, for... Uh, helping us with this live format here i think it works pretty well i think so too i think we just got to do it at a more appropriate hour more appropriate hour and we again this is very different because usually we have the entire rundown of what we've been playing and we have like certain like talking points this is just like let's get the the switch stuff out of the way yeah so any uh, final things you want to say about the switch josh hmm Let's see. About the Switch. About the Switch. What other tabs did I have about the Switch? Big Daddy, you just got here, dude. He's the man. I appreciate you being here, but you just got here. He is the man. Don't take it away. I'm not taking it away. He he can do what he wants. He's Big Daddy. Yeah. I love when you call me Big Daddy. Big Daddy. All right, anyway, so, <laughs> uh, I mean, a couple things about the Switch, even from the initial trailer, that I thought were interesting. I mean, I touched upon it very briefly before. I think those little controllers that you rip off the sides of those things, I, I just don't see how many games you could realistically play with that, because there's not many buttons on there, so it's like... That's the thing, I'll, ne- I'll never... Kind of weird. I'll never want to play that way, but it's a nice yeah. option to have. I guess. I like then, it. I like but it. But then, more... what if everyone else thinks that? Then it's like, who's actually going to do it? So, but I, mean... I like it more when she goes over to the roof and gives it to her friend. They play Mario together. Yeah, that, but that's still. better. I don't like the guy on the plane who he puts the kickstand down and then he like he's holding like two in his hand and he's like, like no, I, d- I just pulled the controller. Then I wouldn't use the two little ones. Yeah, or at that point, just don't use kickstand and hold it. Like I, I don't know. But no, no, no. I, then... I, no, I like the fact that it has the kickstand. Fine. But the other thing is that also looking that one shot in the car that everyone's been talking about is a random car holder thing. Oh, yeah. Kind of interesting. Um, I will never use that. Yeah, no, I mean, no. But also that would make me really nauseous. Like, I feel like sometimes that gets me really going crazy. If you have you're like going in the car, you're staring at the little screen and then it's like kind of dying. Well, while playing Mario Kart, how do you not have motion sickness? I, I yeah, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I don't know. That, that's about it. I mean, we talked about a lot of it. We'll, uh, we'll see. So, two days, technically, since today's the 10th now. Yeah, today we're now officially in the 10th of January. Yeah, yeah. so. And like I said, our next couple episodes are going to be very, uh, uh, very themed based. Again, our next one will probably be our movies and TV section because we have a lot of anime to talk about, a lot of movies to talk about, a lot of stuff in general to talk about. Yeah, and I mean, I'll... I've been just like sitting around, so I've got like shows I've been actually watching, and mm-hmm. it's like we want to have our uh, we want to have our post Pokemon discussion because 
Yeah. We talked a lot about it. Now we need to break it down. What we like, we didn't like. I think it's safe to say that we both pretty much love Pokemon, though. I mean, it's kind of hard to hate it. So. <laughs> yeah, but like, like we were like, I don't think we were, we were nervous going to this gen, but like, I think we were like even more happy with this gen than we thought we would. You That's watch, true. It was wait, a nice you watch Westworld? Yeah, uh, not all of it. Okay, finish it by the next time we talk, right? I'll, I'll try. Okay. We'll see. I've been marathoning Suits a lot. I don't know what that is. It's it's a show basically about lawyers and stuff. Okay. And everyone's like, you should really watch it. I'm like, fine. So they're like, already have like six seasons. I'm like already in season three. And they're like 42 minute long episodes. And I'm like, damn, 30 something episodes in. I'm like, Oi. but yeah. Um. Oh, really quick shout out for more anime stuff. Auno Exorcist ended horribly initially in their initial like 25 episode run yeah like, I, it was, I remember. It, it was so good for like the first 23 episodes and then the last like especially the last one was like oh my god they just came out with second season and the first episode came out last week i gotta watch it still but uh i'm pretty hyped man i'm gonna see what they're gonna do Ooh. and uh also, did I tell you I have Crunchyroll Premium? <laughs> right now? You did not tell me this. Well, it was a free trial, so I took him up on the free trial. I'm like, well, I'm going to be home. Of course you and did. They're like, here's a 14-day free trial. I'm like, hmm. Don't mind if I do. I'm like, what the heck? I'm sitting home for about two weeks. Sure. So, oh, my God. 1080p high quad. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Like, I don't know. That's the problem. I don't know if I go back. Because <laughs> like, then it's also no ads and no whatever. And uh, Oh, that's nice, actually. I might do that. And I'll, I'm like, ooh, and it's only like six dollars a month. If you want, I'll buy it. You can use my account. No, I have standards. You're gonna never make me hear the end of that. No. I'd rather pay for my own. I'd rather we both watch anime together. Though the problem is, I run into that before. Where in college, one time, one of my friends like he exploited something where he ended up getting like three months in a row for free, <laughs> and <laughs> we were watching stuff and. He would like watch the episode of One Piece when he came home from class. I still had another class and I'll get back and then I'll try watching it. It'll be like at the end of the episode, next time on One Piece. And I'm like watching this. I'm like, no, 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 no. Because, like, <laughs> you know, it saves it per account. That, that's happened on Hulu before, too. So it's actually kind of inconvenient at the worst time sometimes. So exactly cybernetic, man. I buy my own stuff. You know, it's probably not entirely true, but it is true. <laughs> I'm a man. I will probably buy my own crunchy roll. Um, but Classic Killer wants Crunchy your account. So. Classic Killer wants your account. <laughs> All right. Well, I, th- I think that's the perfect time to wrap things up here for our first episode. Yeah, so if you, if you want Kind King One's account... Don't even. <laughs> don't even. No, I, know. I, I got an email the other day. Someone tried hacking into my Facebook. Mm. So like, I put like all like the security like locked down my Facebook now. Well, there you go. Yeah. Well, if you want a way to our hearts, buy us a Google Pixel phone. Or just donate to the Twitch stream. Well, that too. You could donate as well. Also, um, our episodes uh, are on SoundCloud. Oh yeah, we're on SoundCloud. So check subscribe, out our mixtape on SoundCloud. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Subscribe follow, to us on follow YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. All that good stuff. We eventually <laughs> need to like make like some kind of like like follow us on YouTube here and here. Twitter do, at Kanye One and Byzantium Two. Do do do. Like some kind of like wrap up song. Um, we'll have Cybernetic Slayer write that. He'll write the lyrics <laughs> I to need, it. I need Crunchyroll, and I'm young. Too young. <laughs> oh my god, Crunchyroll. No, Crunchyroll's not, like, inappropriate. It just has anime on it. Like, well, it has hentai, too, but... No, it doesn't. Well, etch- etchy, then, at least. What? Have you seen the butt anime? Did you tell me about the butt anime? Yeah, I love that show. Yeah, you told me about it. You pervert. Kijo! Okay, you hentai. Kijo! You know hentai it- comes from the word weird in Japan? It's like this that 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 is the name of the anime it is beautiful um actually and with all those exclamation points but um or marks all right but we're wrapping things up here too young to afford what he's do the 14 day to the 14 day free trial (laughs) we're telling you we're wrapping wrapping things up here thank you all for listening quick shout out to people in our chat who stayed the entire time thank you cybernetic slayer and thank you classic killer thank you the chunky lover 111 thank you yolo ninja and thank you to Big Suck Daddy and Jackson <laughs> zero, zero, <laughs> 0678 for making an appearance in our chat. You guys were a great audience tonight. <laughs> I had to yeah. say it. I had to say it. 
<laughs> Killer, if you love this, all 35 episodes that me and Josh have done are up on YouTube right now if you want to listen to them. See, we have a great time, so hopefully you guys have a great time will there listening. Be, will this. there be one tomorrow? No, oh, yeah, no, there'll, there'll be a stream tomorrow, late tomorrow night, but the uh, the podcast is supposed to be weekly, but it, our last one was in November, so... Also, I can give stock uh, tips and help. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look Klein at... King's team? No, get out of here. Yeah, Yo. killer's on my team. Oh, God, this is like Civil War. No, I got the Slayer, man. I, I got his respect. Yeah, but I know Slayer's origin stories. I can exploit him. Classic Killer likes me, too. I just want another stream. Don't worry, Killer. It'll be a stream tomorrow night. Don't worry. Yeah, he'll be streaming Final Fantasy fifteen. No, probably Last Guardian. Or probably Don't Starve. Or probably something else. I don't know. Depends don't on what... Starve. Yeah, Don't Starve, man. Yeah, it's been out. Yeah, but they just, uh, a new DLC came out, like... Not too long ago, they had like a oh. whole like sh- uh, pirate thing, I think. Luffy. Yo, you didn't you didn't watch the new one, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. That episode was just Momonosuke crying. Yeah, but he he gave up the boobs. Well, that Nami oh. Nami gave him the option, and he said no. No. Fair point. No. I was actually. No, I saw that coming. I actually though. really appreciate that episode because all that the flashback stuff they showed with Kaido, that they didn't show that in the manga. They mm. talked about it, but like seeing it animated was really cool. Fair enough. See, that's where like, I watched the anime. It's like, ooh, they like they expanded upon things. Well, if you just watch it from the start, and there you go. In like in, like in the I think I told you this before in the manga, Brook's song for uh, Nekomamushi, uh, Cat Viper. It's only that those words over and over again. Uh, so they realize we take the song longer. So that entire joke in the anime is like, is that the only words? And they extended it. That's the animators making a joke with Oda, and Oda wrote more lyrics to them because of it. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm. So little stuff like that. Gotcha, gotcha. Anyway, uh, that's for another yeah, week. We're dragging this out too long. Uh, our next episode will be the uh, TV movie talk, and then we'll probably get back to our normal podcasting schedule in the next month or so. We'll see. Though we probably should have also a, a post. 12th and 13th switch discussion too. yo if if um if you're free that night we'll do it hmm. be a mini jk or a jk like 36.5 i don't know i shall see all right well everyone then you'll see the jk podcast until our next episode i've been ken o'connor and i'm josh brandon see you guys in the next one Bye-bye. bye bye bye